A pandas data frame is one of the most powerful and widely used structures in all of Python for conducting data processing, wrangling, and analysis work. A data frame itself is defined as a two-dimensional, size mutable, and potentially heterogeneous tabular structure, meaning that it can change size and it contains a series of rows and columns that have a labeled axis. It is similar to an Excel spreadsheet in that both provide us with a tabular structure for organizing and analyzing data with rows representing individual records and columns containing different data fields. Both spreadsheet applications and Panda data frames support operations for things like data manipulation, indexing, and data visualization, making them all very valuable tools for us as analysts working with structured data. However, Pandas does a lot better job at handling larger and more complex data sets, while a tool like Excel is often favored for its more user-friendly interface and presentation capabilities. Once you have Pandas installed and imported, there are multiple ways you can go about creating a data frame. The most common methods are going to be using a dictionary which contains lists, or a list which contains dictionaries, or what is most common for your use case is probably going to be reading data from a file. So let's cover each one of these approaches individually. So starting off here, I have imported pandas at PD and I have created a data object here, in which case this is actually a dictionary of lists. And so this is what we call a column orientation because here this dictionary is going to have a series of key value entries where the key represents the column heading and the values here represent the different column values. When we go to our next example, you see that the, the orientation actually pivots where each element here is actually going to be a row entry if we're doing a list of dictionaries. So let's just start by creating a variable to hold our data frame, which if you don't have a creative name for your data frame, you can just call it DF and we'll set that equal to PD dot data frame. And we're gonna go ahead and pass in our data to that and then we can visualize it using the print function here. And so we can see our output there. Again, each entry is essentially a column. We've got the key, which is the column heading, and the values here below for each one of the row entries. Now, if we create a data frame using a list of dictionaries, then each dictionary element represents a row entry in our data frame. And the approach is gonna be identical. In fact, we can just copy and paste this code here if we want to create, this would be a different data frame now using a list of dictionaries. And we go ahead and visualize that. The end result is the same. You can just see the only difference is in fact, the orientation that we have set up here. Now, if you're performing data analysis work, you will likely be provided with data from some source like a database or a flat file. Those are very common, such as a CSV file or a TXT text file. And so importing data from a flat file into a pandas data frame can be done easily with one line of code. So let's go ahead and import a file that I will include in the video description that is called rewardsdata.csv. And we can import it using the read underscore CSV pandas function. Now note, if you do want to follow along with my example here, you will want to save the file that you download to the same directory location as your Python script, whether it's a Python file or a Jupyter notebook like this. So let's go ahead and create a data frame variable to hold our rewards data. And so I'm gonna call this rewards underscore DF, and then we will reference PD, and this time we will use the read underscore CSV method here. And we're going to reference the file, which is rewards data dot CSV. Now, when we run this, you're not gonna actually see anything happen because all we've done is imported that file and saved it in this rewards data frame variable. Now, we wanna get into viewing the data set that we just imported, which actually contains thousands of rows and multiple columns. It has a little over 7,000 rows to start. And one of the major benefits of working with a larger data set in Python, as opposed to Microsoft Excel, is the speed at which that you can import and analyze and wrangle and work with the data. That being said, it is difficult to view the entire large data set in one snapshot, 
but there are useful methods that are built into Python to display both the size of the data set and preview subsets of that data. So if you preview a large data set, you can do that using the print function. So we'll go ahead and say print rewards underscore df. And you'll see here that what it's gonna actually do is it's going to display the first five rows and the last five rows with these dots in the middle just signifying that there's a bunch of data that are similar to what you see here in between the top five and the bottom five. It'll also lay things out where if there's multiple columns, it's gonna print it on multiple rows here. And then at the very bottom, you'll see the size of the data frame here is showing us that we have 7,252 rows and a total of 11 different columns. Now, if you type the name of the data frame itself, you won't actually have to use the print function to display it. You can simply type it in here. So we'll say rewards underscore DF, and it will format it a little bit cleaner than what we had up here. So we can actually see it's displaying it really more like we would be familiar with in a spreadsheet application. Again, it's not gonna show all of the rows, it's just gonna show us the first five and the bottom five along with the dimensional size of that data frame. Now, if you wanna view subsets of a large data frame, there are methods that you can run to just show the top set of records or the bottom set of records and that is the heads and tails functions respectively. So if I wanna go ahead and say rewards underscore df dot head, that's gonna show me just the first five records. And likewise, if I say dot tail, that's gonna show me the bottom five records. You can also specify the number of records that you wanna display using a number value as a parameter in these different functions. So for example, if I say rewards, underscore df dot head, and then I pass in the numeric value eight, that will actually give me the top eight rows in my data frame. And so those are all really useful for previewing subsets of the data. And you can put in a larger value here if you wanna see more rows, either at the top or the bottom. But one thing that might be really useful is getting a complete list of the column headings. For example, if it's a very, very wide data set, you might need to actually be able to see what are all the columns that I have in this data frame. And so for that, what you can do is you can call the list function and you can pass in the name of the data frame, which is rewards underscore DF. And then you can reference the columns attribute. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna pull out the column names for this data frame and display it as a list. So we can see here, Here's our different columns and what they represent. There's also an attribute named shape that will actually print out the dimensional size of the data frame showing us the total number of rows and the total number of columns. So if we want to see that, we can say rewards underscore DF and then shape. Again, this information was shown to you when you printed out the data frame, but in some cases you actually need to just reference the size of the data frame and not all the other information. That covers the basics of creating and working with Pandas data frames. In our next video, we're gonna dive into more advanced topics such as selecting, filtering, and sorting our data frames. As always, if you've enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe, and click the bell so you don't miss out on any future videos or lessons.